Hello and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. I'm Andras. My name is Theodor. Hello. And we're currently doing debates based on like binoculars. Now all our previous debates were based on binoculars that do not have a laser integrated laser rangefinder, so on the standard classic binoculars. But this debate will be the first where we are going to touch the laser rangefinding binoculars made by Leica, so the series GeoV. And we have here some models, uh, so we have the HDB, the HDR and the R model. And we are going to start this debate off with a little bit of history about uh, the, the, the GeoV model. Yes, the Leica is always about history. It's, it's always, always about us. <laughs> yeah. First of all, they are producing binoculars for 110 years. They are one of the uh, one of the producers which is considered to produce the best binoculars in the world. And when we come to the range-finding binoculars, they are in, in the class of their own, we could say. Uh, first of all, they were the first company which introduced the range-finding binoculars and put them on the market, the civil market at least. And this was in 1992. So this, uh, this was with uh, the Geovit, that was the first mentioning of this name, the Geovit 7x42 in 1992 with, uh, with the range-finding capabilities. Those housings, are still used by some manufacturers today. In Switzerland, there is a company which still produces uh, range-finding binoculars on, on, on Leica's uh, foundation, I could say. However, Leica moved forward with big steps since 92. Later, they were also the first company which uh, uh, introduced the range-finding, small range-finding monocular to the market. Uh, they're called the Range Master. Uh, but let's stay with the geobits. Currently, in 2018, we have three different lines of geobits. So we have the geobit R, which is basically the classic line, uh, which is available since 2005. They were uh, refreshed many times since then. Uh, and this is the last incarnation, which was in 2016. Uh, with the geobit R, the story was there was the first geobit uh, in 2005 of this form factor. It's when you look them outside, they're completely the same. Then in 2009 came out the Jewit HD, which was basically the same, but with a better lenses, with a better optical performance. And since 2009, it was it take all the way to 2000, uh, uh, 2016, when they did the Jewit R. Optically, it's very similar to the HD. The difference is that this one has the, um, it measures the angle, and gives you the equivalent horizontal range, which the HD, the G with HD from 2005 didn't, uh, 2009 didn't give you. Uh, then you have the the HDR. I'm going like from from the more affordable to less affordable, or for for basic to more advanced. The HDR uh, came out in 2015, and the first uh, incarnation had uh, HDR type. 402, type 403, and type 500 in their name. So uh, they were they were more or less optically and in, in design wise the same like the HDB, the best GeoVit on the market at the moment. However, they lacked the advanced ballistic uh, compensation program, so the ABC program. So they lacked the ability that you would be able to choose the ballistic curve, and that the binoculars would give you either clicks or holdovers. So these binoculars gave uh, to the customer the really, really extremely, extremely uh, high quality optical performance because of a pair of poro prisms. I will talk more about the HDB, about this uh, design. Um, but at the same time, they give you only the equivalent horizontal range. They don't give you advanced ballistics. To be honest, until, uh, until this year, 2018, uh, with an introduction of uh, Zeiss Victory RF, there was no competitor that would give you more than HDR. The HDR was giving you the equivalent horizontal range, like all the competitors, but at the same time, it gave extremely good optical performance, extremely fast measurements. I think, at least in my experience, Leica is the fastest among all. When you push the button, you get the reading immediately. And also, the range finding. Um, capabilities are, at least in, in my experience, better than with all other... Uh, so these new HDRs can already measure up to 2,500 meters, 2,700 yeah. yards, I yeah. think. 
this is the, the latest model in 2018 because in 2015 the HDR had the acronyms TYPE, TYPE 402 for 8x42, TYPE 403 for 10x42 and TYPE 500 for 8x56. Now in 2018 they refreshed the model line and they get rid of the um, acronym TYPE in their name which is a really smart idea in my, in my opinion and they just gave the number of yards uh, uh, the, um, the binoculars are able to measure so now they are all marked as 2700 so the main upgrade was the range of detection nothing else changed really only the range of how far you can measure was changed so it went from 1800 meters to 2500 meters and now we come to the HDB this model came out in 2013 uh, it was the first binoculars in the world that had uh, pair of prisms and it's still the only binocular. Like the HDR and the HDB are the only binoculars uh, in the world which feature this, this prism. It's a really unique design used only by Leica. It enhances uh, optical performance so you get a better uh, impression of, uh, of depth of, uh, of uh, field of view. Uh, it gives better uh, light transmission rate. And especially, it's also ergonomically quite easy to handle because of this prism. Because you can see that it's, um, it's I could be, I could say it's shaped like a banana. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it features so, an open bridge design. Yeah, it features an open bridge Top design. Top, yeah. um, and what the HDB featured in 2013 and still does, uh, it featured really advanced ballistic calculator inside. So. It measures the temperature, it measures the angle, it measures the um, uh, air pressure and it takes all this data into the ballistic calculation. You have 12 preset ballistic curves inside from which you can choose and choose. you have to choose that one which fits your actual ballistic curve the best. But it also features an additional uh, port for the uh, SD. Yeah, it's under part. here in the battery compartment yeah. next to it. Never try to open the battery compartment with a coin. Yeah. Always use this uh, with every GeoVit you get this tool from Leica, which is really easy to use and to open. So you avoid scratching the, the cap. Yeah. This is the first step, yeah. always use this tool. Well, in this uh, battery compartment there is a small port for the micro SD card. And there is a software uh, made by Leica which you download uh, on your computer and you're able to insert your own custom ballistic curve inside of the Leica HDB. And that means that these binoculars are then paired with your actual rifle and performance of your ammunition in your rifle. So it's the margin of error becomes really, really small. And this is the main difference compared to all competitors. Until this year, nobody had a competing product with, uh, with similar capabilities. Now size has it, but still we could argue regarding the optical performance. Um, so this was a big, I would say, breakthrough in 2013. Now in 2018, they came out with a model which is completely the same in all the functions, but it's marked uh, 3000, so the HDB 3000, that means it measures up to 3000 yards. So this is around 2,750 meters for yeah. European uh, meters. So they increase the range of, of uh, measurement. In the meantime, from 2013 to 2018, until this uh, 3,000 models came out, they have even two intermediate series. They had the uh, 2,200 edition, so it was limited edition, which had a range uh, of 2,200 yards. And then they had an edition 2017, which was green. But basically it's the same product. They only increased the, the measurement uh, distance, the measurement range. I think it's really uh, worth pointing out as well that uh, usually when it comes to laser range finding binoculars, the light transmission rate is lower because of the integrated system. Yeah. But here with Geo, it's, it's actually on quite a high level because of the it's about 90, yeah. prisms. Yeah, mm -hmm. the prisms really add, enhance the light transmission rate. And, uh, and generally also the field of view is great. Uh, this is definitely one of the best, if not the best, range finding binoculars on the market. And normally it also carries a really famous name, of course. Yeah. So the Geo is the most famous name and nobody produces so many different versions 
of rangefinding binoculars than Leica. Nobody. Uh, everybody else has one model, maybe two models. Leica has a, a whole bunch of different models. So with a, with a uh, GWIT R, you have uh, 8 by uh, 42 and 10 by 42, then you have 8 by 56 and 15 by 56. And these are able to measure up to 1,300 meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1,300 yards, 1,200 meters. And they do also give you the equivalent horizontal range. Then with an HDR 2700, they measure up to 2500 meters or 2700 yards. And they have three models, 8 by 42, 10 by 42, and 8 by 56, like this one. These are really, they're a little bit bigger, not really bigger, they're a little bit heavier than the 42 models, but they are better, they perform better in low light. And they give you only the equivalent horizontal range, similar like they are, but they um, have a much uh, longer... Uh, but they do have the temperature sensors, yeah. the barometric sensors, uh, and the angle. The inclined sensors. Yeah. 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 And, but you can only see the reading, you can see what the temperature is, you can see the angle, you can see the, the pressure. It doesn't calculate you the whole ballistic curve. Well, this is what the HDB does. The HDB does, they, it calculates uh, exact number of clicks or hold over or, um, or gives you only the equivalent horizontal range but it takes into account your custom ballistic curve your actual ballistic curve so in HDR and HDB uh, there are three models in, in both series uh, 8 by 42 10 by 42 and 8 by 56 so the technology implemented in the HDR would is perhaps perhaps it has the features that most hunters need today. Yeah, yeah. This would be enough for most hunters. I think this is probably the best buy you can buy. It gives you the EHR, so the equivalent yeah. horizontal range. This is perhaps the most important thing mm -hmm. that you need. But this is the top of the, the I would say the top of the cake. Yeah, it's it's the best you can buy. Uh, the difference between this and this is this one gives you clicks and holdover. This one gives you only the equivalent horizontal range, which this one can also give you. You can program that this one works the same like the HDR. What about the difference in the price here? Is it's quite big. I think it's like 500 euros, 600 euros or something like that. So you have to calculate whether it's worth giving additional 600 euros for the mm -hmm. functions that you might not need. Yeah. You have to calculate that. I, in my experience, most of the customers goes for the HDB because it's the top of the line. Yeah. However, the HDR, it's the best buy in my opinion because it's really affordable if you compare it with other uh, competing manufacturers it offers the same functions it measures quicker than all others it has superb optical performance it has superb build quality it has all the functions you actually need in most cases HDR it's almost the best buy at least in my opinion because the advanced ballistic compensation functions basically that you that the binoculars give you the holdover in centimeters or inches or that the binoculars give you the value in clicks depending on which uh, uh, what is the size of one click on your uh, rifle scope you can set this setting inside of a, in, a, in the menu and then it gives you the click uh, number a lot of people doesn't don't need these two functions so this is the reason why i think that the hdr is uh, Best Buy. Uh, if I go to pricing, the we have three different lines of products. Everything starts at uh, GWIT R, which starts at around 1,850 euros, and it goes to 2,500 depending on the model. So you have uh, 8 by 42 is the cheapest, then 10 by 42 is a little bit more expensive, then you have 8 by 56 and 15 by 56 is the most expensive, around 2,500. Then if you look at the HDR, 2,700, this goes from <clears throat> 2,500 euros to 2,900. So in this, uh, the 8 by 42 starts at around 2,500 euros, 8 by 56, uh, HDR, 2,700 ends at around 2,900 euros. And the HDB starts at around 2,900 and goes all the way to 3,300. So it starts at 1,850 and it goes to 2,500, uh, 3,300 euros.
in this range. I think it's also important to mention that with the HDR and HDB you also get the aqua dura coating, yeah. uh, which the, the R model lacks. Mm -hmm. And also on the HDR and HDB you will find like as famous uh, eyepieces, which are I think one of the best in the market. Yeah, we we start um, with they can four different uh, uh, settings. They can really be fixed in many positions and they hold the position nicely once they're fixed. Well, in essence, with an HDR and HDB, uh, with this four operator prism, you also see that there is a difference in optical construction, the optical design. So they do perform optically better than the uh, GeoVit R models. The GeoVit R still has, I would say, the same optical construction like in 2009 when the HD model came out. And normally until 2013, the development did uh, advanced and Leica really invested a lot of effort into making this. Uh, so this, this shape is an outcome of the Perga Poro prisms, right? Yeah. So it's a little bit bent and this is the... And superb optics is also an outcome of this prism, yeah, I would say. Of course, of course. Uh, and normally all the, the coatings and, and everything. I think also the, the, the outer coatings is the HDR, uh, no, how it's called? The, uh, the coating which protects uh, against scratches. High durable coating? Yeah, HDR. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and <coughs> Aquadura also uh, protects from abrasion to a degree. So, mm -hmm. um, and then this HDR takes this even to a, to a higher level. Normally, if you, if you take some sharp object and make a scratch on it, you will still make a scratch yeah, on I wouldn't the lens. <laughs> I wouldn't I mean, recommend, no. But uh, it does protect uh, lenses, the outer surfaces, uh, a little bit more uh, against, I would say, light scratches and unintentional. So yeah, we have high durable coating and the aqua dura coating mm. is also applied. They are all made in Portugal in the Leica factory. Uh, they come with five years warranty and with all the accessories uh, expected in this class from the binoculars. So the rain covers, yes. the rain guards, uh, the carrying strap, the, the bag. And there is also a couple of additional accessories which you can, which you can buy uh, separately for these binoculars. Leica is known for producing many high quality uh, accessories for binoculars like different carrying straps from leather, from different high quality materials. Um, you can also get the, uh, the straps for more comfortable wearing and so on. Um, did we forgot anything? Or I we don't think so. so uh, we covered the build quality, we covered the optical performance, we covered the, the coatings, the price mm -hmm. range, the model range, the history. Okay. Uh, and I think that we covered most, most of the things, but uh, if you forgot something, of course, leave a comment in the comment section or send us an email. And don't forget, uh, forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to like this video, check out our other videos because there's more where this came from. And um, see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.